I'm Nick Allen. Welcome back to some more Rust. And as you can see, we are fresh spawn <laughs> because we died La during um, the last episode, part two of this. After I got done recording, I was trying to build a small base away from my stone base. You know, because that one was too kind of people already knew where it was and that that was my base. But, I ended up dying. From cold, no less. And starvation. Kind of a mix of the two. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I was in super build mode. But, since then, I tried to record yesterday, but the video sucked so much that I kind of just scrapped it, and I'm kind of just starting over now. But, I've learned a lot since then. Is that a rock? Oh, and now I'm wet. But, I've learned a lot since then. On the other server I'm playing on, Fruit Nation, if you watch Mr. Fruit's channel, I think that's his YouTube name. I keep on forgetting. I just recently found him. Oh, Meteor, meteor Shower coming. But, he has a Rust server that he plays on. Or that, that he owns, I believe. I don't know how you make servers, but he, I'm playing on that one, and I learned a few tricks, because <laughs> I kept on dying, but, oh, I forgot I had my torch on, thank god that doesn't hurt the torch, eh, but I learned a bit of tricks to, holy crap, straight line of corn. Wow, somebody worked really hard to make this thing straight. <laughs> it's like literally perfectly straight. It's awesome. That is dedication right there. You know how to kill yourself with command. Then... Oh. <laughs> well, I... I tried to help. Oh, hey, small base. Wow, this is definitely... <laughs> a one by one. Wow, this person's... Oh. Pumpkin. That, this definitely makes me a target, but I, I just like having a pumpkin on my head. Although I won't keep it on my head. Oh, corn. Right now there's only six people online, so... There's not much of a threat right now. Holy crap, that's a gigantic base. Most likely defended by a lot of guns. Oh, hey. I thought that was mushrooms. But, the sun's coming up. Let's eat a little bit. Get some food in our system. But, what I learned is that they're gonna find your base. You know, the point is, is to make them think that they win. That's the point. Back away. And run. <laughs> just, just in case that's an actual person. But you want them to believe that they've found your base and that they've taken your stuff. That's the point. It's called the decoy strategy. While I'll have a base, I want them to... The whole point of it is to have a base that looks easy to get into but not important or awesome enough to take for yourself. So I think a regular 2x2 two two base would be perfect. 
But what I really need is hidden stashes. My actual items are going to be in a somewhat knowable area. Somewhere where I can easily find, but they can't. That's my plan. Well, the, I'm going to keep, like, decoy add items in there. Houdini horse. But, I have decoy items. You know, put it just once in a while, I'm going to put a, put a little bit of wood in there. Some, maybe metal. And, and whenever I get a furnace, I'm even going to leave a little bit, a little bit of stuff in the furnace. You may see, it may seem like a waste. But, if my strategy works, ooh, guns. Oh, only four people. There are only four people online. Wow. I'm one of those four people and she's just three other people online. Three people on this big map? I'm a, this is a good time for me to actually start this up. Because I need to get a whole lot of items. And then I need to build a stone base. Specifically, I need to stop getting sidetracked and start gathering wood. Because what I really need is to already have a, a stone base by the, before the end of this episode. And to have a lot of stashes. Oh yeah, and I'll be making... I guess I'll be making two um, sleeping bags. One, the decoy sleeping bag to go in my base. And then the, um, the real sleeping bag is going to go outside. I'm not stealing. I'm just looking at what's here, if I can help them out. But most likely they've left. This place looks like raided. I'm always looking for good deeds I can do. This is a pretty awesome um, design. <laughs> Why can't I climb? This looks pretty awesome. So it's meant to be kind of support. Well, there's nothing I can do to help these people. But... Yeah, I'm taking the whole being a good guy thing seriously. Because I want to try to be actually a trust... A, tr a twist... A, a trustworthy person on Rust. You know? And... You guys... I'm trusting you fully. Which means that... I will not be cutting out where I put my stashes. And so I expect you guys, to, if you do join me, to be allies. Because the more people you have with you, the stronger you are. And if you take advantage, then I can easily just leave. Oh my god, the deer scared me. That's a decent sized base. That's decent. Wow. Okay, well let's make a better map. Because the one we got now is currently crap. And... <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see. It's awesome to have a mini-map, but... When the game comes with its very own map that's better than the mini-map, then... It's kind of useless. Nine seconds left. Hopefully it ends up on my hotbar. If I see something wrong with somebody's base, and I can help them fix it and kind of do a good deed, then I will. I will not steal from people unless I know if they've taken something from me, and then I will only take my stuff back. Although I will defend myself. And then take all their items, if they're attacking me. 
but I will try to pretty much say that I'm friendly first and try to, to, to defuse this situation if I can. I've already had to do that on another server. I tried. This guy came up to me and was trying to kill me, and I was like, friendly, friendly! But he ended up just trying to kill me, and then I killed him. And then took all his stuff. I ain't gonna be a wimp. Oh yeah, now I can. Let's keep on going down this way. I think the best possible solution is to try and make it seem like we're trying to make a good base. Ooh, hey. Ores. Hopefully I can get a pickaxe made. Still not enough. Let's see what we need. Tools. Okay. Apparently I need wood. Also. Wait. And 125 stone. And I only have 54. Wow. Get this stuff pretty slowly. But it's most likely going to take all of this. But, in this episode, pretty much, I will get a basic b base set up and a 2x2 two two stone base with a wooden door, pretty much in code lock. So I'll end up, I'll look kind of like my base is good. But I'm still noobish. And as soon as I can upgrade to a code lock on a metal door, patrol helicopter inbound. Okay. Oh, let's get some stone. Do I have... Okay, I have enough stone. But now I need more wood. Okay. I still need more stone. Or wood. <laughs> Keep on getting confused. But I'll be going into the desert area to try and. That's apparently the, a safer place because not many people go down there. But maybe since everyone knows that, everyone's going down there. So that's like the whole. Think I don't, I don't know what it's called. If you guys said anything, but yeah, don't be stoned yet. <laughs> okay, there you go. And with this, I will have nine seconds left. Let's collect more wood while we're at it. Get as much wood as we can. The whole goal is to have <laughs> even in here I still have a kind of Minecraft OCD. Even I'm not Minecraft. It is I have to have pickaxe first, axe second, and if they ever had a shovel, it's gonna be on my third um um thing. So <laughs> still have the Minecraft OCD in Rust. Yep. Okay, let's see how much wood we have. 500, that should be plenty for now. What we need is... Oh, this person has some good, um, a good base c coming along. Some metal sheeting along the bottom. Ooh, metal foundations. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's neat. But, let's keep on going. Definitely need to be finding some hemp soon. I've probably walked past a bunch, but I was distracted. Or no, maybe I actually haven't walked past any. And there's nothing wrong. Well, there's definitely some hemp. 
I say definitely, but I'm lying. <laughs> Where's the pimp at? Oh, that's the boy. I thought that was a rock. Holy crap. Wooden walls. Oh, I saw a video where somebody actually made a general store. Sucks that it was raided. As I said, they need to have some kind... They need to make some way... Ooh, this ain't good. You can easily squeeze past. Oh, this person's been raided. Oh, that sucks. I know the feels. Ugh. Wish I had some sort of... You know, eventually, I'm going to... I'm going to make a lot of notes and then leave notes. Like when I fix a house and just let them know that I'm, d I'm doing a g Ooh! Oh, that's definitely good. Getting really lucky there. Metal blade. More wood. All oh, this is definitely good. This person has... That person needs, like, some sort of gate. Whoa, lag. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm running. Definitely not good to run into people here. He's probably not friendly. Probably? Probably. You friendly? Cool. I'm recording this, by the way. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> well, see ya. Good luck on your journey. <laughs> mm. I actually had a good interaction. That's rare in Rust. You could have easily killed me. He's still following me. <laughs> Hello? Do you need something? Can you talk? I think he's typing. Might not have a mic. Ooh, bear. <laughs> yep, he, he saw it too. <laughs> well, let's make some spears so we can possibly attack it. I think it's gone. 
I'm apparently getting followed by someone. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I'm gonna take advantage of that. You tried. But don't do it again. <laughs> no problem. Good luck. <laughs> You too. <laughs> well, that was a weird kind of... Ooh, I'm starving. <laughs> I guess uh, that was the welcome of sorts. <laughs> Need to hurry up and get some food in me. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Do I still have that guy follow me? Oh, no, I don't. What does the mine anything plugin do? Hmm. I'm guessing it lets you mine anything, but I guess it may be on the fritz. It's a work in progress. Ah. <laughs> well, milk do if you're watching this. Um. Thank you for the interesting moment, I guess. anything in here? No. Well, I currently... I'm gonna eat my hat. And I'm going to make this video a little bit longer just because I need to actually survive, and I ain't doing that right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently dying, actually. Am I actually heading up? Did I get turned around? Yes, I did. Maybe I should tell him. Also... Milk. Do if you want to check out my channel. It's unique alien. There you go. Just so he knows. Oop. But I still... I am going to die. <laughs> I need to find at least <coughs> enough hemp to craft up a sleeping bag and at least one. 
Welcome to Rust, one of the most toxic community games of all time. <laughs> I've noticed. But it ain't that bad. It's just still trying to figure out what it is. There you go. Animal fat to cloth. Ooh, hey, I'm getting cloth. Um, still not enough to get anything at all. I do. I'm making a video right now, actually. But I am most likely going to die. So, if I actually log out, possibly, then I won't die because of my character. But I can always re-get some good stuff like this. <laughs> 50. I'm still new. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Stay unique, and see you guys. I'm... Well, I'm ending the video now and logging off. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to see if they say anything. Guess not. But <laughs> see you guys.